How are we doing, YouTube? It is your favorite teddy bear right now. And because I was so busy yesterday, and because, uh, you know, things just got a little crazy, um, I didn't get a chance to upload yesterday. Um, I am following the new schedule of Tuesday and Thursday uploads. And I'm trying to get Wednesdays worked out for a live stream debate. And I'll have, uh, like, one or two, maybe three special guests um, to talk about a topic and see what everybody thinks about it. And that'll be something that I think's really cool. Um, and then Saturdays, uh, Saturday mornings will be, uh, I will be live streaming. Not very long, uh, maybe an hour to an hour and a half. Nothing, like, all day. Because, you know, I I can only keep my attention so long. But right now, um, I'm going to do a quick review of Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I just picked it up yesterday. And I'm seeing, you know, what it's all about. Because I've heard a lot of bad things. I know uh, my buddy DGAM Knifey, um... Every time I say, hey, I'm hopping on ghosts. Last night, oh, come back from the dark side. You're going to the dark side. You're going to the dark side. Well, I got to give it a fair chance because I am a COD fangirl. Um, I love it. You know, I love being able to sit down and to just have some fun with playing. And thank you for shooting me in the back. For, you know, this is my release. Uh, video games in general, but, um, I, like I said, I absolutely love this. Um, and so far, where are you at? Oh, thanks for taking my kale, genius. But, so far, um, I would get, out of 10, I would maybe give it a 6 out of 10. Um, maybe a 6 and a half, 7. The only reason is because I love Infinity Ward's games. But it's got too much of a feel of Modern Warfare 3. Um, if you're going to do a whole new series, you need to make it so that it, um, so that it's like completely different. You know, with the Black Ops series for Treyarch, um, it's a Black Ops series. It's not, okay, you know. It's not something terribly, terribly different. And I'm doing absolutely Enemy horrible. I might switch to the honey badger. Because I was doing... Where are you? There you are. Um, I was doing halfway decent with it before. Um, two games ago, I actually went 20 and 5. So... Get over here, son. Like, please. Like, please. But anyways... Um, you know, I don't, I, for me, I feel that if you're, like I said, if you're going to make a whole new series, then make a whole new series. Don't base it off of something like the Modern Warfare series, because that's what I kind of, I kind of feel, it feels like Modern Warfare 3, the Modern Warfare's in general, and I think that's, be, and I think that's the reason that a lot of people don't like it. Um, I'm noticing that, you know, the spawns are kind of hinky and everybody camps. Um, and I honestly, it all depends on the map. Like, cause I have no idea where I'm going still because I'm, you know, still trying to figure out uh, different routes and all that kind of stuff. But, <clears throat> excuse me, overall, it's not a bad that game in my eyes. Able. It really isn't. I mean, like I said, Call of Duty fangirl, that might be it. But I have no major qualms with it yet. Um, I only played it uh, last night and today. But I figured that I'd give you guys a little taste of gameplay and a little co live calm. Because, 
new to the game, and I know I'm like two years late, but you know, I I had heard horrible reviews, so I didn't even want to attempt to get it, and that wasn't very fair. That I mean, I was younger, I was stupider, um, and I'll be honest, like I said, come here, <sighs> man. I have absolutely no major qualms with it so far, like I said, but, um, overall, it's a decent game. I just don't like to feel, uh, for me, how, uh, that it kind of feels like Modern Warfare 3. Um, you know, it just, it's very tough to get used to, I, to get used to boots on the ground again. Um, I've tried to wall run. I've tried to use uh, an exo boost. Everything, and it's just like no. These are boots on the ground. Yeah, I could have. If you would have given me like two more seconds, I could have shot you, doggy doggy. Um, so far, I really, really, really like the guard dog and the satcom. I haven't really played around with the loadouts yet just because I'm trying to get the feel for the game but like I said I like the guard dog, the satcom all that kind of fun stuff hang on where are you at? now this morning I got a text message saying that I made the local paper on the front page um, I'm excited about that. I'm like beyond excited about it because my, um, a while back again in November, I did a presentation on how gaming can help autistic gamers at, or autistic kids to, you know, kind of relax. Just, um, you know, just kind of relax and maybe get some self-esteem and better um, social skills in a more in a different in a different uh, setting versus you know trying to do it face to face and definitely having a similar interest and I got a very small mention it was just um, you know it said uh, teddy bear decide uh came and spoke about how video games can help with social skills anxiety and um just and self-esteem excuse me i was completely completely losing my losing my train of thought because i was oh my god i don't like getting shot in the back and for everybody who's like, oh yeah, see, you don't really like this game. No, you can get shot in the back in any Call of Duty. No, no, oh, come on, I saw you and then... We're losing this fight. Yes, thank you, genius, I know that. I say, I know I saw you, boys. That was the good stuff. Come on. Uh, over here, maybe. The one thing I don't like is the slide, because you go into prone. No, I mean, most of the time, because I hold it. And I go into prone a little bit too much. So, like I said, very minor details. Um, so far, I've been running with the Honey Badger. I actually really like this gun. Um, I'm gonna have to give some other guns a chance. But so far, I really like this gun. I threw the ACOG on for right now because just to kind of maybe give me a better sight. And I like to check all the sights anyways. But hey guys, uh, this was, as always, brought to you by Departy Gaming, Cinch Gaming, and No Scope Glasses. Um, for a five 
25% discount on Cinch and um, No Scope. You use the promo code DGAM. And guys, I'm going to leave down in the description a link to a GoFundMe um, page that, you know, I'm not in this for the money. I'm not in this to make, I mean, do, would it be nice? Yeah, but I'm not, right now, I don't want anything to do with money. The only reason I'm asking for donations is to help me make other videos. That's the only reason. I just want to. I just want to be able to make some really, really good videos, um, and I can't do that without your guys' support. And any proceeds that I do not use towards my channel will be going to a charity known as Able Gamers. I will also leave a link to uh, into their website in the description. Um, I really got. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please make sure that you like this video smash that like video I'm trying to maybe get 20 likes to start off um, make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on with team Teddy and uh, as always you know let me know what you guys think about this game in the uh, in the description or in the, excuse me in the comments below make leave a little comment say you know hey I don't like this game or whatever but, um, I'll check you guys later. Have a nice day. Oh, you're still here? Awesome. Do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And drop a comment. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.